Exercise can benefit each and every one of your organ systems. And to demonstrate this better, I'm going to be using this diagram that oh I made. Oh my god. Here. Not again. No? Not even this episode? No. Hey guys, it's Dr. Yaz. Welcome back to my channel. Joining me from DC is Dr. Sharisha. A lot of people's New Year's resolution is to exercise more. We all know it's good for you, however, is it really that important? Absolutely. There are so many health benefits to exercising other than losing weight. So here are 10 reasons that you should exercise that go beyond just looking good, even though it's an added benefit. So if you feel like you're losing track of your New Year's resolutions, keep watching this video. Let's start from the top, the brain. Exercise does help in maintaining a healthy brain and cognitive function. And in fact, studies suggest that it may be a beneficial strategy to lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's dementia and vascular dementia. And what about memory? Researchers actually found that regular aerobic exercise can boost the size of your hippocampus. This is the area in the brain that's involved in memory and in learning. And exercise doesn't only help the brain, but also the mind. A study published in the Journal of Depression and Anxiety finds a significantly large overall antidepressant effect due to exercise. Furthermore, it helps boost self-esteem and mood. Now this is not a replacement of your antidepressants if you're on one, but this is just to show you how powerful exercise can be. Moving on to the heart. Hypertension affects hundreds of millions of people worldwide, including children and teens. It's one of the major risk factors for heart disease and stroke. Exercise can be really powerful in lowering your blood pressure and thus your risk for cardiovascular disease. In fact, a recent study suggested that its effect on lowering blood pressure is similar to that of some commonly used antihypertensive medications. If you have diabetes or you know someone who does, you know that living with it can be really hard, but there are things we can do to prevent type 2 diabetes and exercise is one of the best things you can do. As we get older, especially after the third decade of life, as we age, we gradually lose both bone mass and muscle mass. But we can prevent or slow down bone loss with regular exercise. Also, resistance training helps build muscle strength and maintain a healthy lean body mass. What? Exercise keeps your skin healthy. By increasing blood flow, exercise helps nourish the skin cells by delivering oxygen and nutrients to them very effectively. It also helps carry away waste products like free radicals. And so you can think about it like a skin cleanse from the inside. So I don't really have a good segue for this. But exercise also benefits sexual health. A growing body of evidence suggests that there is a positive relation between physical fitness and sexual health. A lot of people have difficulty sleeping and might even need sleep aids, but exercise during the day has been shown to improve the quality of sleep at night and might even be effective in battling insomnia. A study by Northwestern University suggested that aerobic physical activity with sleep hygiene education is an effective treatment approach to improve sleep quality. As we previously mentioned in our cancer prevention episode, an estimated 20 to 30 percent of cancers are related to obesity or physical inactivity and exercise can help you lower your risk of cancer. And if you haven't already, check out our video on our top seven ways to lower your risk of cancer. The link's on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you think this could help someone or motivate them to exercise, please share this video and subscribe to the channel. And let us know what topics or questions you want us to talk about in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and tune in for our next episode. See you next time.